Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Come on, let's celebrate, Jesus. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. And he reigns forevermore. He is risen. He is risen. Come on and celebrate. Come on and celebrate. The resurrection. The resurrection of our Lord. Celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. He is risen, he is risen, and he reigns, yes, he reigns forevermore. He is risen, he is risen, come on and celebrate, come on, come on and celebrate. The resurrection of our Lord. Come on, let's celebrate, oh Lord. Say, celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Hallelujah. We celebrate you, Lord. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Because he is risen, he is risen, he is risen, and he reigns forevermore. He is risen, he is risen, come on and celebrate. Come on and celebrate the resurrection, the resurrection. Come on, he is risen. Oh, he is risen. He is risen. And the grave couldn't hold him down. He is risen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And that is why we celebrate. Amen. Amen. He is risen. He's alive. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. And so we recognize, Lord, that you are above all powers. You are above all. 
Amen. There's none to compare to you. Above all powers, above all kings, blessed be the name of Jesus. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man. You were here before the world began. Come on, everyone, above all kingdoms. Above all kingdoms. Above all thrones. Above all thrones. Above all wonders the world has ever known. Hallelujah. Above all wealth treasures of the earth there is no way to measure what you're worth crucified laid behind a stone you live to die rejected and alone Trampled on the ground, you took the fall. And the thought of me above all. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what your worth. took the fall and thought of me above all. Lord, you were crucified and laid behind a stone. You lived to die, rejected You took the fall and thought of me oh, above all. Oh, you were crucified and laid behind a stone. You lived to die, rejected. Trampled on the ground, 
you took the fall. And the thought of me, above all, like a rose trampled on the ground, you took the fall. And you thought of me above all. Oh, Jesus, like a rose trampled on the ground, you too the fall. You thought of me above all. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Oh, blessed be your great name. There's so much to choose from, Lord. But you chose us. Hallelujah. We are indeed grateful. We thank you for the cross. Hallelujah. We thank you for the price you paid. Amen. You're bearing all my sin and all my shame. Oh, blessed be you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Come on, let's just reflect on what Jesus has done for us. And we are indeed grateful for the cross of Christ. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame, in love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail pits wash me in your cleansing flow. No, all I know your forgiveness and embrace. We cry well. Let's show the Lord our gratitude and tell him thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sins. Bearing all my sin and shame. 
love lord thank you for this love lord thank you for your nail pierced hands thank you for the nail pierced hands must wash me wash me in your cleansing flow now all i know your forgiveness and Join the angels and cry. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Come on, let's keep it there. Worthy is the Lamb. Oh God, yes you are. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Come on, let's think about our Lord and His worthiness. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy. You are high and lifted up. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. You are exalted above all. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. He has a name that is above every name. And the scripture teaches that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. So we sing Jesus, name above all names. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, 
Come on, let's raise our voices and sing. Jesus, name above all names. Come on, sing. Beautiful Savior. Glorious Lord. Glorious Lord. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. Blessed Redeemer, blessed Redeemer, living word, living word. Come on, that's all we sing. Let's repeat. Say Jesus, Jesus, name of all, name of all, name of all, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, glorious Lord, Emmanuel. Is the living word. Oh, let's cry out. Say, Jesus, name above all names. Oh, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with. Blessed Redeemer, living word, Jesus, Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel. Let's raise that up one more time. Say Jesus, oh, it's Jesus, name above all names, name above all names. Beautiful, Savior. beautiful Savior. Come on, say glorious Lord. Blessed Redeemer, living word, Emmanuel, say Emmanuel, God is with us. Blessed Redeemer, big, somebody need to know that Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us. Blessed Redeemer. Come on for the last time. Say, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with. Oh, blessed Redeemer. Living word. Somebody need to know that. He's Emmanuel. 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 God is with. Blessed Redeemer, living word, living word, it's Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with, oh, blessed Redeemer, living word, come on and say, Emmanuel. God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living word. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord.
and in ministering of the word. Please stay with us and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, it is my pleasure to call on Evangelist Hemmings, who will be interceding on our behalf. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Eternal God and our Father, we want to give you thanks for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies. We thank you for this privilege, O oh God, where we can worship you in spite of our lo different location. Father, we give you thanks because you are good. Your mercies, O oh God, is everlasting. And so we pray in the name of Jesus that as we are about to start this, our service, that you will be with us, that you will grace us with your presence, and that the listeners, O oh God, will be blessed. The word that will be coming, we ask that you will anoint it, mighty God. May you bless your man's servant. May you cover and inspire those who will be ministering in songs. Father, have your own way. Allow, let souls glorify your name, O oh God, and let, O oh God, souls be blessed. Have your own way as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Right, there's just something about the name of Jesus. You know, when it is mentioned, is either you love it or you hate it. Amen? Amen. Some people love to hear the name of Jesus. Some people can't stand the name of Jesus. But the name of Jesus is what it is. Amen. But there's something about the name. Jesus. Amen. 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 There is something about the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Kings and kingdoms Praise shall all pass away. Praise but God. one thing we are certain of. There is something. something. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Jesus, 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 there's just something about the name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Oh, Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Hallelujah. The kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. But there's something about that name. Come on. Can we raise our voices and sing? Sing Jesus. Jesus. Call him by his name. There's just something. There's just something about. That name, he's a master, master, savior, savior. call his name, Jesus, like a fragrance after the rain, call his name, Jesus, 
Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Let all the heaven, heaven, and earth proclaim. Come on, kings and kingdoms. Kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. But there's something, but there's something about that. Hallelujah. Oh, we call the name Jesus. 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 Oh, yes. Jesus. There is something. There is something. Something about. The name, Master, Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, let all the heavens and the earth. Let all the heavens and earth proclaim. Hallelujah. Kings and kingdoms shall Pass away, but there's something, but there's something about. Hallelujah! Can we shout his name one more time? Oh, Jesus! 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 Call his name! Jesus! There is something, there is something about. Come on. Is he your master and not your savior? Master. Savior. Savior. Name is Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Like the fragrance after the rain. Oh, sweet Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim the kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. But there's something about that name. Kings and kingdoms, kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. But there's something. About that day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what's happening now. Hallelujah. Kings and kingdoms, they will pass. Yes. But the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The Bible speaks about a kingdom. Yes. You know, that, that appears as if it was cut out of a, a mountain without hands. Amen. And it fill the universe. Amen. That's the name we proclaim. Praise God. Oh, blessed. So kings and kingdom, they will pass. Yes. But there's something. Amen. Oh, praise, praise the name of the, the Lord. Of there is something Amen. about the name praise Jesus. I'll be glad, Lord, that you are in this place. Yes, Lord. We thank Hallelujah. You. The Lord is here. Amen. The Lord is in this place. Praise God. Blessed be the name praise of the Lord. God. The Lord is in this place.
The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. I will worship. The Lord is in this place. 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 The Lord is in so we're inviting you to join us. Then. Come and worship. Come and worship. The Lord is in this place. He is. He is in this place. This place. I will worship. The Lord is in this place. He is in this place. He is in this place, this place, oh, I will worship, the Lord is in this place, he's here, the Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come on, tell someone to come and worship. Come and worship. The Lord is in this place. 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 Jesus is here. The Lord is in this place. So come and worship. Come and worship. The Lord is in this place. He is in this place. This place. So I will, so I will worship. The Lord is in this place. He is in this place. Stay. I will worship, I will worship, the Lord is in this place, he is in this place, this place, I will worship, the Lord is in this place, he is in this place. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come and worship. Come and worship. The Lord is in this place. 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 Come and worship. The Lord is in this place. He is in this place. This place. So I will worship. The Lord is in this place. This place, I will worship, I will worship, the Lord is in this place, he is in this place, he is in this place, this place, I will worship, the Lord is in this place. I will worship the Lord is in this place. I will worship. 
So I will worship the Lord is in this place. So I will worship the Lord today. So I will worship the Lord is in this place. Come on, say, I will worship you, Jesus. So I will worship the Lord is in this place. Come on, tell him again. See, I will worship for you are in this place, Lord. So I will worship the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, we need to make that personal. See, I will worship. So I will worship the Lord is in Hallelujah. Say, I will worship you, Jesus. Say, I will worship, I will worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, say, I will worship. Hallelujah. Say, I will worship you. Say, I will worship the Lord is in this place. So we bow down and we worship you, Lord. Consuming fire, your sweet perfume, your awesome presence. Oh, God, you feel this room. Hallelujah. This is holy ground, oh Lord. This is holy ground. This is holy ground, oh Lord. This is holy ground. Oh, this is holy ground. So Mighty come, God. Mighty God, and worship Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Mighty God. So come, Mighty God. And bow, bow down. So come, and bow, bow down. Come on, say, bow down. Say, bow down and worship thee. Worship thee. Oh, worship me. Bow down. Bow down and worship thee. Come on, let's enter in the presence of the Lord. Enter. Bow down, bow down, bow down and worship. Hallelujah. Worship me. Oh, worship me. Bow down, bow down and worship. Enter in, enter. Consuming fire, consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence, Lord. Let it fill this room, fill this room. This is holy ground. This is holy ground.
Scripture teaches that when Moses saw the bush burning, and when he went up, the Lord said, take off your sandals, because where you're standing is holy ground. This is not holy because we are here, but it's holy because the presence of the Lord is here. Amen. And where the presence of the Lord is, is holy ground. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And so we take off our sandals of impurity. Amen. To just bask in the presence of the Lord and bow down and worship Him. Hallelujah. So we bow down, Lord, and we worship You, oh God. So we bow down. Oh, oh Lord. Bow down. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Our scripture reading comes to us from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. That's Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. And you have he quickened who are dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past. In, sorry, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the, the desires of the flesh. And of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherein he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses and sin, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace are he saved, and hath raised us up together. And made us sit together in heavenly places in the Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Here ended the reading of a portion of God's holy word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now we know that the Lord has something wonderful and exciting that he wants to share with us through his manservant, none other than Pastor Henry Harley. We are waiting with our cups turn up because we know that God has something for us. But before Pastor Harley comes to us, it is my pleasure to call on Brother Kevin Cameron to minister to us in song. Please receive him in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. I've come to say how much I love you. I've come to say how much I adore you. Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many problems. By your spirit and your grace, I'm confident you'll solve them. I'm here to say I love you. I'm here to say I adore you. I'm here to say. to say how much I need you. The longing of my heart is to please you. Let your all-consuming fire cleanse me in your presence. Lord, my goal and my desire is to serve and give you reverence. I'm here to say I love you. I'm here to say I adore you. say how much I need you. The longing of my heart is to please you. Let your all-consuming fire cleanse me in your presence. Lord, my goal and my desire is to serve and give you reverence. I'm here to say I love you. I'm here to say I adore you. I'm here to say
Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm here to say, I love you. In spite of what's going on, I am here in the house of God to say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. And with all that's going on, I love you. Hallelujah. Whatever is going on, Lord, I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you. You've been good to me. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. He is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. I want to just greet you all. All of you, thank God for you. That you're on with us as we worship together. And yes, we are going through a significant period of lockdown and what have you. But we're still free in the spirit to praise and glorify God. And we will not be fettered in any way. COVID or no COVID. Our voice, my soul, shall make her boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Greetings and salutations, everyone. We give God thanks for the privilege. We celebrated last evening the Lord's Supper and the joys in our hearts because we are celebrating victory in the name of Jesus Christ. We are glad that we have been delivered from the bondage of sin. And today, I want to share with you from the Word of God on the topic being made alive in Christ. Being made alive in Christ. You know, our scripture reading has some very, very important uh, lessons for us, Ephesians chapter 2. And I normally advise that you turn to the scripture as we share together. It begins with a very important statement. It says, and you hath he quickened, and you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. And you hath he quickened, that were dead in trespasses and sins. Our topic, being made alive in Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. Hallelujah. Your love you have so lavishly poured out upon us. Your love that has found us when we were nothing and has brought us into being something. We bless your holy name. Thank you for life in Jesus Christ. Thank you for life in your word. And we pray today that you will bless your word unto our hearts. Hallelujah. And glorify your name. We pray through Jesus, our Lord. Amen. You know, brethren and friends, we continue to feel the effects of the pandemic. And at times when we are expecting that things would get better, they turn for the worse. We have been hopeful with the release of information about vaccine that we would be coming, we would be getting to be freer and freer. But as we are finding out that we are becoming more bound under lockdown, under pressure and stress and strain, I advise you, brethren and friends, as people of faith, we have to remain strong. Amen. We have to remain strong. We have to remain strong in our faith. We have to remain strong in our trust in the Almighty God. These are indeed difficult times. But as an old statement goes, with Christ in the vessel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can smile at the storm. And the songwriter says, Master, yes, Master, the tempest is raging. <laughs> and the billows are passing high. <laughs> but we know the wind and the waves shall obey his will. 
So we press on in spite of the storm. We press on in spite of the storm. I say, we are being made alive in Christ. And no matter what is happening around us, believers and friends, there is new life in Jesus Christ. Praise God. Our scripture reading is instructive. What it says is you, the subject of this topic is you. Amen. Believers, I'm talking to you. Amen. Those who have been saved by the blood of the Lamb, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. And perhaps if you join me, we can say we. Yes, we have been quickened. We have been made alive. And the question is, why should we be made alive? And why were we made alive? And what was the reason that we needed to be alive? Because we were dead in trespasses and sin. Yes, walking around, eating food, driving car, living in houses, achieving things, but dead in trespasses and sins. The Bible describes it this way, that we had a former lifestyle. Amen? Before we were made alive, we had a former lifestyle. And I want to share today four major points in this little sermon. That our former life, was a life when we walk according to the influence of the prince of the power of the air, the God of this world. That is how we used to live. And let me tell your church, let me tell your friends, that there is a lot of influence in the air. Amen? You just need to go out on the road, and there is some power that is being pushed out in the ear by some loud, blaring speakers, some ungodly things demonstrating that the God of this world has control of the ear. Amen. And so he's putting out in the air, in his domain, the kind of things that he wants to contradict and to conflict with the things of God. The prince of the power of the air is putting out so much noise out there that the voice of our Lord is silenced. When you go out there, if God is not in your soul, the amount of things you hear is going to distract you. We walked according to the course of this world according to the influence of the prince of the power of the air. That is how we were living, dead in trespasses and dead in sins. Walking dead. Walking but in trespasses. Walking but in sin. Pursuing our own desires. Covetous. Lustful. Bad mind. Amen. Amen. That's how we walked. That's our lifestyle in the past. When we were dead in sins and trespasses, we could have covet anybody and it no matter. We could be as lustful as we want, but that is a life of trespasses and sin. We could have bad mind. That was a life of trespass and sin. Amen? We were children of wrath. That's our former lifestyle. But thank God, we are being made alive in Christ. So that's the former state. In the former state, we were children of wrath. Ah, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? How angry and wrathful we can be. 
Isn't it amazing? In a time of misery and trial and crosses, how angry it can be. There was somebody I heard made a powerful, popular song, Cross, Miserable and Angry. And that was, that was a number one song because it described how people feel. Cross, miserable and angry. No one about it talk to me. No one about it come near me. No one about it deal with me. Those are the things that we once pursued in our former lifestyle. That is who we were. But praise God, we are being made alive. We don't have to live in that condition. You who were dead in trespasses and sin, you as he quickened, you as he given new life. So then, there was a former lifestyle, but now things have changed. Hallelujah. Songwriter says it's different now since Jesus saved my soul. It's different now since he cleansed and made me whole. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's number one. We were in a former state of lust and wrath. We were in a former state of misery. Amen. We were under the influence of the prince of the power of the air, but we no longer are under his influence. Praise God. Things have changed. Things are different now. Number two, God's love through Christ appeared to us in our sinful state. That is to say, while we were in this misery, while we were, while we were in this lustful, wrathful state, God showed up and told us that he loved us. Amen. Now, now, it's not very many people would tell you that they love you when you're doing all kind of rubbish. When you're doing all kind of foolishness. Not many people would tell you that they love you, that they care about you. But when we were dead in trespasses and sins, God's love found us. Praise the name of the Lord. Christ's death was for the giving of resurrection life. I said resurrection life. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. You know, we celebrated the death of Christ in partaking of the Lord's Supper yesterday evening. And what we said, it is a reminder that Jesus died on the cross, but he rose again. And what we have in Christ and the love of God is a resurrection from sin and death. Trespasses and sins were a grave in which we live. But praise God, we have been given new life. We have been quickened. We have been given resurrection life. You know what that means? It means that the sin that had us in a coffin, the sin that had us in a grave, had to let us loose when the love of God came to us. Praise the name of the Lord. When the love of God came to us, the prison bars of trespasses and sins were broken. Yes, the sepulcher with the stone rolled up, having us in bondage and seeking to have us separated forever. That was broken when God's love showed up. We were dead in trespasses and sins, but Jesus died for us. Jesus died for us that we might be free. And so we have this reminder that Jesus died, but he died that we might live. Hallelujah. So we are being made alive in Christ. So, so when we celebrate his death, you know, it's not glad we are glad that he's dead. Hallelujah. When we celebrate his death, we are glad that we are made alive. Praise the name of the Lord. That we are made alive in him. Because he died, we live. Praise the name of the Lord. We are not 
according to the scriptures, walking in the former lifestyle. We are now enjoying a new life. We have been resurrected from the state of trespasses and sin. Praise God. Sin no have no power over me. Hallelujah. Trespasses don't have no power over me. I am no longer a slave, not to fear, but to sin. I am no longer a servant of sin. Praise the name of the Lord. I have been given resurrection life. But you know what is exciting? What is exciting, hallelujah, is not only have we been raised to new life, but you see, it's one thing to be raised from the dead and be left back in the condition where you can die again. <laughs> but when you're raised from the dead, not to die anymore, hallelujah, 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 that is a wonderful resurrection. And so the Bible tells us in the scripture reading that we have been raised from the dead. The death of trespasses and sin. And we have been elevated. Hallelujah. We have been elevated. We have made, been made to sit in heavenly places. Glory to God. Glory. Yes, uh, I feel it in my soul. Elevated. Yes, lifted up from out of trespasses and out of sin. Made alive. Glory to God. And not only made alive, but elevated. Lifted up above the condition. Lifted up above the circumstances. Made to sit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And not just sitting down near the tomb where I was raised. I'm not sitting down in the territory and the domain of darkness or death or trespasses and sin. I am elevated and made to sit in a special place with a special person. Glory! 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 Made to sit in a heavenly place. With a special person. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. I have life in him. And now I'm sitting with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I have life in him. And I'm sitting in heavenly places with him. And you know, the, the, the ultimate, you, you, <laughs> you may see me sitting on a chair now and then. But in truth, I am sitting in heavenly places. Amen? And you may see me sitting down by the roadside. But, but guess what? In Christ, I am made alive. And so you don't watch where the body is sitting. Hallelujah. You understand where my soul, yes, is resting. It's such a blessing. Hallelujah. Yeah, in heavenly places. That, that's where I'm sitting. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the ultimate goal is that I'm going to sit down beside my Jesus. I'm going to sit there for eternity. You know, hallelujah. The Bible tells us that in the eternal kingdom of God, there'll be no night, no COVID, no day, no, 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 no sorrow. No pain, no death. I am looking forward to the consummation, the ultimate revelation of that heavenly place. Now I see it through a glass darkly. But then I shall see it face to face. Praise the name of the Lord. So the second point is that God, in his love, appeared to us in our sinful condition and lifted us up. Hallelujah. 
made us alive, and then lifted us up so that not only are we alive, but we're walking on air. Hallelujah. Praise God. Third point is that the work of resurrection from being dead in trespasses and sins is a work of God's grace. Amen? It is God's grace that makes the resurrection from trespasses and sin possible. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, we may look good, but we couldn't do it. Amen? We may be bright, but we couldn't do it. You may have had three or four or five or six degrees, but you couldn't do it. You may have a lot of money, millions in the bank, but that couldn't do it. You may have connections to powerful and influential people, but that couldn't do it. It is the grace of Almighty God that did it. So this work of a resurrection from trespasses and sins is a work done by God's grace. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know what that grace is saying? That you don't deserve it. But think about who you are. And think about where you're coming from. And you understand what I'm saying. That you didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve it. But God's grace showed up. So listen. As we partook of the emblems yesterday. We said that we are partaking by faith. Amen. And by faith we know that these emblems that represent his broken body and shed blood transmit to us a sense that we are united with Christ. Amen? And so what happens is that we cannot boast about how close we are to God or how wonderful we are with God because all of this is God's grace and God's mercy. Amen? It is God's grace and God's mercy that makes all of this possible. So we are made alive in Christ by God's grace. Praise God. By faith, the Bible says, it is by grace you are saved. Through faith, what it is? The gift of God. Amen? Amen? It is the gift of God. There is no boasting. Yeah, amen. amen. I feel good, but I'm not boasting. Amen? Amen? I'm affirming my faith in God, but I, and I, I'm not boasting about where I am in God. Because I know where I am. I am there by grace. Amen? By the grace of God. By the grace of God, where I am in heavenly places, it's by the grace of God. And I can look around and say, yes, I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. But look for me now, eh? Just look at me. Look where I was. Look what I was in. And look where I am now. Being made alive in Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So that it is God's love. It is God's love that moved him to graciously save us. It is God's love that caused him to reach out to fallen man and to bring him into relationship with him. No amount of personal goodness can account for what we are now. No amount of our ability, our knowledge, and our skill our competence, none of that accounts for where we are in Christ. Where we are in Christ is not an education achievement. It's not an educational achievement. And so sometimes, you know, we have to be very careful how we forfeit and how we relegate and put into second and third place our relationship with God as we pursue our education. And our achievement, we have to be careful. Amen? Because education can put you to sit in heavenly places, you know. Education is very necessary, and you have to have it 
I always say you can't survive in our world, but you only can survive in our world if all you have is education. Praise God. But if you have education and then you have salvation, whoa, praise the name of the Lord. Then the education will kind of set you up a little bit in this world. But the salvation take you across the river. Hallelujah. The salvation take you across the bridge. Yeah. Hallelujah. So make sure that you are being made alive in Christ by the grace of Almighty God. Amen. Fourth point, and then I'm going to close. Is this. What we are now represents what God has done in us through Christ and the work in us continues. Amen? In other words, what you're seeing now, if you did ever see what I used to be, you'd have never want to be around me. But what you're seeing now is a representation of what Jesus Christ has already done and also is doing now. And right as I am here, he's still working. Praise God. So that's why the word is being made alive. Not that you are totally done with, but you are being made alive. That means you are getting more and more life in Christ. It is a work that is continuing. Amen? Amen? So, yeah, we may have a little fault, but it's a work that continues. Amen? I may make a mistake, but guess what? It's a work that is continuing. If you think I'm making a mistake, no. You would never understand what I'd be doing if I were in trespasses and sin. If I was still in trespasses and sin, it wouldn't be just a little mistake I am making. I'd be wreaking havoc. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be causing destruction and damage. It wouldn't be just a little mistake. It would be a lot of damage. But praise God. Hallelujah. What I am now, where I am going, is a work that... God is doing. So the work in us continues. We are still being made. Praise God. We've come a long way. Hallelujah. Come a long, long way. A mighty long way. But the work still continues. When we consider what we were and who we were and what we have become in Jesus Christ, I am declaring hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am declaring it for myself. Because I know me more than anybody else. Amen. That what I am and I have been made alive in Christ. And I am saying hallelujah. Shout it on the mountain top. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a savior. Who can take a poor lost sinner. Lift him. From the miry clay and set him free. Hallelujah. The work continues. Jesus ransomed me. Hallelujah. The work continues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say when I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my soul cry out. Hallelujah. The work continues. The work continues. Not what I used to be. Not what I am finally going to be. But the work continues. I'm saying I feel like pressing my way. I feel like pressing my way. <laughs> I'm on my way to glory. And I feel like pressing I am saying I'm being made alive in Christ. I am being made alive. I am being made alive. I have more life in Christ than I have when I just got saved. But I don't have all of it yet. Amen? 
Still looking forward to some more. Still looking forward for enrichment of this life. I get a little taste of glory and it tastes good. I need some more. Amen? Amen? I need a little bit more of glory. So here's what our scripture says. We are his workmanship. Created unto good works. Given new life for what? Good works. We are being made alive for what? Good works. That God hath before ordained that what? We should walk in them. So hear this now. We are being made alive so that we can do something good. And one of the good things we are doing, we are telling people that there is new life in Christ. One of the good things we are doing, we are saying to people here and there and everywhere, Jesus Christ can make a difference. He can resurrect you out of trespasses and sin. He can resurrect you from the death that is eternal. And so the work is not over, church. The work is not over, friends. For you who have already begun, the work continues. For those who have not yet begun, the work should start. Surrender to the Lord Jesus. Allow him to have his way with you. God is still working on me, the songwriter says, to make me what I ought to be. He took six days to make the earth and sea, moon and stars, Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be. For what? He is still working on me. The work continues. I am being made alive in Christ. So let us surrender to God's tender embrace. Let us take him at his word. Let us walk in the light of God's word. Let us put our trust in him. The work continues. Praise God. He has not given up on me. He will not give up on you. He has brought you to this point so that you can know that he's interested in you. And he is willing to guide you. I still feel his presence guiding me so I know he's still working on me. When I'm inclined to go contrary, I feel something inside of me shaking me up. He's still working on me. When I make a mistake, I feel something going on. He's correcting me. Praise the name of the Lord. When I'm going somewhere and there's some kind of danger, something comes and kind of tells me to be careful. He's still working on me. When I go to him with my problems, he hears and he helps me comfort and relief. He's still working on me. Praise the name of the Lord. And so I close and remind you of these four points. We need to remember our former state where we were dead in trespasses and sin, where we walked according to the prince of the power of the air. Thank God we have received new life in Jesus Christ. Point two, God's love appeared through Jesus Christ while we were in our sinful state. It was not because we were good. It was not because we had all our problems solved and all our business arranged and we were walking decent and upright. But we were made alive while we were yet sinners, Christ died. While we were yet sinners, God's love came upon us. Number three, the work of resurrection from the dead. That is being in trespasses and sins. It's a work of God's grace. You can experience the grace of God. It's the unmerited favor of God. You don't deserve it, but you can experience it. And for those of us who have come to trust in his amazing grace, I say we thank God for that. And the fourth point 
is that what we are right now at this point represents what God has done in us through Christ. And the work continues. Praise God. The work continues. The work of being made alive in Christ continues. For Jesus Christ came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And the, 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 the well-known and perhaps most quoted verse in Scripture says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. The work of being made alive is finally completed when we receive everlasting life. And right now, we have a taste of it. The work continues. May that work continue in you, brethren. May, brothers and sisters, you who have been made alive in Christ, remain true, surrender to his word, submit to his leading, and know for sure that when he is finished with you, you'll come out, you'll come out as pure gold. And for those who have not yet started, amazing grace is available. It is available to you. It is available to you today. You can come and experience that by bowing your heads, admitting to your God that you have sinned and fallen short and that you need his forgiveness. The amazing grace of God can start that work in you today. And thank God for the grace that has been keeping us all along. Our sins are gone. They're washed away. I bless God for this opportunity to share these words with you. And trust that you may find in these words encouragement, inspiration, and upliftment. God bless you in Jesus' name. I invite Evangelist Hennings if you can say a closing prayer for us, please. Great. And mighty God, holy, righteous, and everlasting Father, our hearts bow before you as we listen to your word, O oh God, reminding us where we are coming from, reminding us of your awesome power, your grace, and your mercies. Oh God, for had it not been for your grace and mercy, we would have been destroyed a long time. We thank you, O oh God, that is not because of any goodness that we have done, but it is only because of your kindness. Father, as we bow our hearts before you, different places, O oh God, we are praying in the name of Jesus that you will so strengthen us, that you will help us, O oh God, to remember that we have life, we have abundant life in you. I pray, O oh God, that regardless of what we are going through, O oh God, we will remember that you have taken us out of trespasses and sin. And that you have placed us in heavenly places. Father, we want to thank you that when you have removed us from the trespasses and sin, that we are not near it, O oh God. That we are not in it, O oh God. But that, O oh God, you have so intentionally and deliberately placed us at a place, O oh God, where we can be beside you, that we can be in you, O oh God Almighty. Because you have said in your words, O oh God, that we have this treasure 
in the earthen vessel, O God, O God Almighty, that the excellency of the power will not be of us, but it will be of God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that quicken us, O God, that we can be like you, that we can live for you. O blessed be your great name. Father, great and mighty God, may you bless your people, those of us, O God Almighty, who may feel as though we are abandoned. O God, we pray, especially at a time as this, may feel lonely and may feel forgotten. We are thanking you that you promised that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We are, we are thanking you, O God, that you are God of your words and what you say you will do. Thank you for your words to your man's servant. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you for your words of assurance. Thank you for your words of life. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus that where there are deadness, that your words that have came forth will call forth, oh God Almighty, your people, oh God, whom have been called by your name. Strengthen, we pray, oh God Almighty. Praise your wonderful name. We are thanking you that the work is going on. That the work is not yet done. We are thanking you that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men what you have in store for us. But your power, oh God, will cause us to reach to our final destination. We thank you, great God. Thank you for this wonderful assurance that can only be found in Jesus Christ. Thank you, O oh God. Father, may you continue to have your own way, O oh God Almighty. May you bless us. May you dismiss us with your choices of blessings as we look to you and tell you thanks as we rejoice in the God of our salvation. Bless your holy name. Remember those who are not saved, who, are, who have been listening, O oh God, and have been watching. I pray that there will be a special visitation and there will be a transformation because you promise, O oh God Almighty, whoever, whosoever will, will be saved. Because with the mouth, confession is made and with the heart, men believe unto righteousness. O oh God Almighty, as many as receive you and believe on you, to them they gave you the power to become children of God, sons of God and daughters of God. Father, thank you for your words. Thank you, O oh God Almighty. Have your own way as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me, I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see, t'was grace that taught my heart to feel and grace my fears really how precious did that grace appear they are I first believe my chains are gone How 
sweet sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind, but now I see. Come on, say, was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears really. Be your first believe. My chains are gone. I've been, I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. I'll soon resolve. Refuse to shine. Tis grace that brought me safe this far. And grace shall lead me on. My chains are gone. Set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. My chains are gone, my chains are gone. Like snow, the sun forbid to shine. Twas grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace shall lead me on. My chains are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. And like a flood, and like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace, and like a flood, and like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. Bless the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm.